Some interesting things arrived today to the easy box. So one of them is... Uh, I let you guess what this is. This is a 60 watt amplifier. Can you believe it? It's just a little chip, a few capacitors, a few coils and 60 watts. All the comments say that it's pretty awesome, but it overheats. So what I'll have to do with this one is install a heatsink on this uh, chip. And it has to be vertical or something. I don't know how I will do it. So let's uh, try to focus in on the number. Because the board doesn't have a number. I don't know why. So the chip is... B, let me zoom in or something. Can I zoom in? This is another phone that I'm filming with. Oh yeah. AD2CGX7TG4 TPA3118 So yeah, audio amplifier chip probably. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. It has uh, power, it has output, input and mute. So that's all, even printed on the back, so you don't uh, switch those around. And it allegedly has uh, protection for short. That's pretty, pretty nice. So yeah, I don't know how I will fit a heatsink here, a vertical heatsink. Because all these things are in the way. But I have to figure out something. Because if this is 60 watts. Then. <laughs> it needs a lot more cooling than the 30 watt. Doesn't it? <laughs> so I will use this with a 30 watt. Uh, max 100 watt uh, speaker. But uh, yeah. I think I need uh, additional cooling. In the comments they say that it works fine at 20 watts. It doesn't overheat. But uh, I'm not taking any chances and I'll uh, make something. I was thinking of something like this. Like a heatsink and put it like that. <laughs> I don't know yet. Maybe that's a bad idea. But it's copper allegedly. Or at least copper uh, covered. And uh, yeah. So this will be interesting but I'm not doing it today. This was this. Okay, let's put it away. And uh, yeah, this is a step up voltage regulator. DC to DC boost circuit or whatever you call it. I think it can handle up to one amp. But it's not really that uh, amazing. I need it for something specific that doesn't need much amperage. So, you can configure it to uh, both jumpers open, it's 5 volts, open and closed, 8, 8 volts, yeah, closed and open, 9 volts, and closed, closed is 12 volts. So, this is a nice little thing for the clock mainly, for this that I built. And it will also have a thermostat mounted on top of it or something with the temperature. And yeah, this will be all the information I need. <laughs> Whenever I glance at it, I will know uh, how hot am I and uh, where am I in time. <laughs> so yeah, just with this little step up thing from a USB charger. Yeah. So this will be in another day. <laughs> This is also a step up, I think. Is this a boost circuit? Yeah, oh yeah, it must be because it uses 5 volts and it converts it up to uh, up to like 24 or something. This is the model number, Oki 3501-6 SU68. I don't know what that means. 
and I don't know what I'll use this for. Basically the same thing as the small one, so I can power LEDs or anything at 12 volts, 9, whatever. I'll have to see. I just wanted to try it out because it's like 2 bucks, le less than 2 bucks. Uh, this I got for my birthday. It's a voltage a voltmeter and uh, I'll make something simple from it. It needs a separate uh, power supply and it will measure on a different uh, wire. And this is something uh, portable that fits right in your pocket and uh, will quickly measure anything you want as long as it's DC voltage. <laughs> yeah. And today I will assemble this. I think it will be a, a silent video. I mean, I will put some music into it, but I won't speak because this is a lot of soldering. 60 LEDs, both all, they all have two <laughs> feet. A nice little IC, a screen, it's here with three digits, I think, or four. And a speaker, USB port quartz and all that I think it's like 300 solder joints at least I think it's 300 <laughs> so yeah this will be a long video without me explaining anything because it's self-explanatory -explan just put in the legs and solder them put in the legs solder them put in the legs solder them make mistakes make mistakes correct them correct them and yeah so that's my plan for today it should be at least an hour or two <laughs> So, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to it, to having it working. So, hopefully it will work. I haven't had much luck with the, with an amplifier I bought from this company. It's basically a 2 watts, even though it says it's 18 watt. And uh, the FM radio also doesn't work. I think I'll send them back and ask for my money back and if they call me I won't pick up the phone. Just give me back my money because it was a waste of my time fiddling with those broken electronics. So yeah, hopefully this is not broken and I'll see you in the next video.